Okay, Gaming Grunyards, we're back on our game for Day 6, Operation 6 of Mars, which is our hardcore, hardcore Soviet campaign. That's hardcore combat AI and hardcore economy. Uh, at the end of the last game, we came out with a reasonable amount of research, and so we spent uh, four of those points on calling Stage 4, so we've got extra deployment on the battlefield. We spent one point on the supply, so we can get through to supply trucks. And the final couple of points, we upgraded our tanks from uh, BT-5s to BT-7s. And that's really because in the last game we saw Panzer threes, which means we know the Germans are only a step or so away from the Panzer IV. And by the time they reach Panzer IV, we've got to be close to T-34. Otherwise, we'll be out-tanked. So we've reconfigured our forces. Phase 1, we've got a Dushka. We've got a defensive force here. Recon squad, rifle squad. We've got an LEIG and two 76 millimeters in phase two. In phase three, we've got the 10 centimeter mortar, Dushka and a flat cannon. And then in phase three, we're bringing that captured Stug from the last game, plus two BT-7s and supply for those. And that's our four, so let's take a look. It's the Stalingrad outskirts. And the mission, it's a not a research, it's just a resource points. So we'll confirm that. And let's go. Um, this isn't a map I encounter very often. It's not doesn't come up in my cycle very uh, often, so I don't know it. So I'm I'm unsure what to do here. Who am I, who am I playing against? I'm playing against the Germans, so we can expect waves of tanks and infantry. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think it's because it's starting to outskirts. It's not a very well prepared position. So although I'm looking around, this house here is completely surrounded by trenches. So if we've got some good fortified positions here, we can um, deploy our engineers to put mines and anti-tank obstacles in the kind of six minutes or so we've got before the enemy starts to arrive. So let's take a look at this and we'll see where we get to. Here we go, we're popping into the game. So we're down in the northeast and we've got two VLs and it's snowing, wow. Okay, that one's heavily fortified. Let's just hit a pause here so we've got AI defenses this is super heavily fortified I think that's got to be held yeah, it's got to be held with that and actually further out than that uh, we haven't got miners this is where I would kind of you know I, I love miners for this but I think we've got to hold both of these which way are the enemy going to come in I think given that we're in down in this corner I'd expect them to come from the southwest um, this is a large expanse of open ground which is good for us if we get our anti-tank guns into position what's this one got this is slightly more obscured ground um, and it's the furthest one that we're gonna have to run to but it's very defensible um, I'm just thinking you know can we block these passages here with uh, barbed wire and anti-tank we certainly need some barbed wire on the outset of this to stop the infantry just rushing towards us but it's the left flank here uh, that we're kind of interested in. Okay, let's just take pause off and get a call in. So here we're going to run for the furthest one. So I'm going to send some infantry over into those trenches there. Uh, we've also got a heavy machine gun, a Dushka, we'll put over there. And a flat cannon that will go over there. And the final thing that we've got are... Some scouts, well I'm going to put some scouts out into the centre here, following scout discipline. Let's get call in phase two. We've got an engineering truck here. And we've got another truck for that gun. And we've got an LEIG now, quite like the LEIG in between the two or flanking that one. this enemy is going to come from so this is going to be a hard game um, we've got a two-story building anywhere out here that we can pop a commissar in put you in the woods over there mate okay and we're running 
I have a mind. Set these two boys up as a crossfire. Uh, now the engineers. I've got a feeling they're going to hit this one first. So we're going to bring some engineers over to here. You're going to get into there. What have we got back here? We, that's our engineers. Okay, you're going to go to this one. Um, scouts. Uh, one in that building there. Uh, no fire orders. Uh, one in that building there. G. G. You boys get out of there. And I want you to wire up across this field here from that house down to there as fast as you can. Dig that in there. Dig that in there. Uh, fl flat cannon. To there, you enter infantry then to there. Infantry there, and machine gun on the left there. Leig, that's you're going to do there, and you're going to dig yourself in there. Okay. Right, you two engineers. We've got one channeling wire. One strip out there. How are you boys doing? You're doing good. We've got a call in three, which is some infantry infantry for this location. Uh, another flat cannon that I'm going to put out here at the edge next to where that LEIG is uh, that truck I want to come back and pick up that other ammunition truck you back to there uh, that's that's a machine gun do screw over there ammo crate in between you two mortar over here crew reserve crew you can go to there medics let's put you over on this flank in a medic truck you boys finished yet not quite I think you have actually that's that will do for that and we want uh, we want some more wire out there how about this wiring part you doing fine uh, grab that ammo and this ammo you're a man down aren't you Right, one of you, one of you recon, get on there. Forgot to resupply it properly. That's a bad move. Uh, 
Oh no, I want you there. In, in that building. And one of you in that building. What are you wiring up? Okay. Somebody's running back to that. And we want this ammo up behind here. Put that flat gun down and dig it in. You infantry. Three of you there. Some of you there. I've got an anti-tank gun on this side. If they come in this side, I'm going to be in serious, serious trouble. Here they are. They're coming in that way. Okay. First casualty. That wiring part is doing okay. Here comes the tank. Flat cannon there. Dig in. Dig in. Dig in. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Come on. Okay, Mortar's doing a good job there. What's happening here? That scout seems to be attracting a lot of attention. Well, he he was. Truck out of the way. Get rid of that. No, I want that. I want that ammo within range. Come on, man. Get. Stop that tank in its tracks. Stop that tank in its tracks. Stop that tank. Get that repaired and get a medic out to there. Wow. Panzer two. Stug.
and infantry. Okay. Get him back to there. Get on that gun. Get the get the medic off the gun and get the crew on the gun and get that medic back there these two tanks here and the Stug here Okay, we need a medic over here. Jesus, we've got a lot of tanks. Up to there. You get on that, medic. Cruiser there. Medic, medic. I have no idea what's happening in this battle. Blow that out. Blow that out. What has happened here? A ammo truck is tipped over. Commissar for Catway. Okay guys, we look we looks like we're holding.
Okay, what have we got here? We're going to move one of you there. Both tanks are out. Into there. And bring this anti-tank gun down to here. Put the stud on the flank. What in hell's name? Back him up. More! There's more! You've got to be kidding me! Come on, just burn this out. Burn this out. Put that down. How many fucking tanks do they have? How many tanks? Well, I would love, I would love the scavenge of this. Yeah. 
But I'm not going to take the scavenge on this. I'm just going to take, I'm just going to take the victory. That's the screenshot. Can we take the scavenge? Can we manage this? We're just going to pause for a minute. Okay, I can't get the scavenge. What have we got there? We've got one guy here, still in the cap zone. And they've got still tanks. Okay, it's enough. I'm going to finish this. Finish this. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we got the victory at what cost? I think we've destroyed our force. That was just, there were no only Panzer 3s, there weren't Panzer 4s, but how many tanks were coming at us there? It was just non stop stream. Wow, wow. Well, um, and yeah, look at this burnout. Look at this burnout. How many tanks? 2.5 research. 1400 cash. Stars and lots of ammunition. Uh, I've got to lick my wounds after that one. That was a victory, but at what cost? Let's just take a look. We lost one of the guns. Mortar stayed intact. Supply stayed intact. That supply stayed intact. The Stug survived, but the two... That's fine. That's, that's actually... 
better than I thought it would be in terms of the research tree we've got three research points what can we do that in terms of our tanks because our tanks were a little bit outclassed not entirely outclassed um, we could spend the three upgrading our anti-tank guns or we can go to the T28 for three points. I think we've got to go to the T28. Then we're only another two points away from the uh, T34. Okay, I'm not going to do any of that now. I'm going to lick my wounds. I'm going to recover from that battle. And whoa, that was just crazy. Just crazy. Just crazy. And we just managed to hold that on. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. I certainly hope that I'll see you on the next battle. Thrilling and exciting as that was. I mean, these battles, sometimes they're chaotic. And that was just way chaotic. I was barely getting a grip. I'll, I'll only understand really what was going on by going back and looking at the video. But um, that was the fight. We won the game. I will see you soon. But once again, from Gaming Gronyards, thanks for watching. See you soon. And bye for now.